I, I, that's that's really all I've got. This should be a really action-packed game. Um, thoughts about the lane setups, though? Do, do, should either side walk away from the lanes with a big advantage? I, I don't think so. The Timber Hoodwink lane looks real nasty. Like, it's pressure onto TB. I don't know if AA can stand there and take it. Mm. So that's the one I'm looking towards is, like, Infinity might struggle. But you could have that try lane again, right? You could have the setup with a Tusk to get an early kill and settle the lane early. Okay. Well, here it is, boys. Game number two. It could be the last one of the lower bracket finals. Winner of this series going up against SG. Let's see if Unknown can close it out or if Infinity can take us the distance. No pause. A great omen for a great game. <laughs> Gary B, 1437. It's your time to shine. Thank you, Zayori. Yeah, no pause in the previous game, was there either? So yeah, definitely a Ooh. good omen for things to come. I as if these guys are professionals. My goodness. That they don't need to pause. Video they, gamers. they do everything right before the game even starts. Amazing. That's what good teams do, Gary. They don't need to pause the game at the start. Pre-plan. I know their movements. Ooh, though D Ward. What? Angel, bottom. He was literally sitting on the hill. Pamplona walks in there, wards, and there was already a sentry ready for Angel. Oh, and nice. Just words that. So good. You're talking about preemptively doing stuff, right? Talking things out. They're even going for burner, burner top lane. Some good uh -huh. damage there from the trio up north. And burner, burner, just gonna get the hell out of there. It looks like Weezy's gonna actually deny this ward. Doesn't want to give them the gold and the XP because he feels like Infinity know that it's there. Yeah, he's gonna yeah, some picks it out. TB too. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very preemptive stuff. Yeah, the D war, the Denon on war, the aggression on TB. And now you've got this Crystal Maiden sticking top as well. Something they might not expect as Prada stays there waiting for Weirjan Sacred to return. Well, it's being pinged out. Sexy Yogi's saying, hey, just watch out for that little cut through the trees just above your tier one tower. I assume in these other lanes, Ember against Storm. And that bottom lane going to be that PL just holding out for a few seconds. And going to be okay. Burner Burner's the one to watch. He's being very patient. Tentative move back. Try and drag the wave a little bit. Widge playing forward. I think Infinity know that that, that is meta, meta use though. I mean, they know the CM's not bottom. So he's very patient on Burner Burner. It's way worse if he just gets first blooded, so you just have to chill a bit. <laughs> She's still sitting up here with the Crystal Maiden. That, they're displaying the experience three ways. Well, oh my god. You, 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 know, what, you, you know what? You know what? Terrorblade? Oh god, he's close. He's okay. The stick, yeah, oh, he had a fairy fire, he's fine. Yeah, the uh, Timber Chain broke the tree that he was bushwhacked to, so it actually kind of ended prematurely. The stun Sad. there. Yeah. There but you know what, Theban? Mm -hmm. Bottom lane. What is it? Puckins yep. is 7 1, and he killed Courier <laughs> yeah. of Darkseer. No. How is that it's... allowed to happen? Because the wave was right in front of his tower, so he was so happy, and this is Puckins. I mean, right now, he feels like he's the best carry player in this uh, qualifiers. You know, maybe SG have something to say about that later, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe Angel, so. 10 and 1 against two heroes. So good. <laughs> Some ridiculous stuff. And and he got that D ward earlier, right? Was was it his sentry? Like he placed the sentry and got the gold for it? Oh um, so I'm be, not uh... sure if it was his sentry, but he did get the XP. That's hundred mm -hmm. percent. I feel like it was probably the Crystal Man in Sentry, to be honest. I don't think a carry is ever gonna buy a sentry. Especially with the but... first starting item gold. Okay. Well he's definitely got plenty of money coming in. Hood already queued up. That little ring of regen helping him out in that lane for now. And they're just going to go oh, fresh white Arzen. Arzen. Spam out yeah, the Phantom so much damage. He's also holding his spell because he might need to get the vacuum uh, with Pamplona. Try to get a kill on the Crystal Maiden. They just, just got level 2. It looks like they want to go in. Oh my god, Arzen's going to die first. He gets 2 yeah. points in the Spirit Lands, Gary. Yeah. Bam. Surprise. Angel knows what's up. And this lane yeah. pushing in means Pamplona has to do some weird dragging around so it doesn't go into tower aggro. Waiting for Darkseer to respawn. Oh, some really sick stuff coming out from Pakaz, and he's going to go across, get his Ring of Health already. Two, three minutes in. Now he's unkillable, right? Now he's got so much regen, the Iron Shells just don't matter. 
and a hood soon too. Like with that first blood, that's gonna get him to hood by like four minutes. And the reason why he's doing so well here, uh, or the, what what happened there was like, they weren't gonna jump the crystal maiden first, but they got the kill on the docks here before they could jump the crystal maiden. Because Pamplona just got his level two. So nice. Good courier snipe top. Burner burner gets the metamorphosis going. But this lane doesn't feel like it's going to get any easier with a timber saw given free reign by Widger's hoodwink. Cracking level two over to that side pool camp. Yeah. And, t and the t timber saw is already level three, so that level two reactive armor just makes it impossible for Infinity to apply any pressure onto him. So it's going to come to mid lane now, Gary. Storm versus Ember. TP is doing decently well, a little bit ahead of the Ember at the moment. Oh, Arzen, he's going to be fine. And uh, he's going to have to have a lot of really good rotations because Infinity are looking real bad on the silence right now. Yeah, it's, it's nice that Pamplona is also stacking for him as well, right? That large camp is triple stacked, yeah. so Storm's going to have a lot to fall back on in the jungle, which uh, yeah, is going to be a necessity in this game, like you say. 21 on 5 right now. So yeah, good start. What kind of build do we see from Storms nowadays? Oh. Because it, it felt like at the Major, it was just a Kai. Oh, it was Crystal Wish Maiden. In. Very low, but Widge is there. Pakas with yet another you. kill. And he and Hoodwink can afford to do that because his offlane is a Timber Saw, who can just mm -hmm. sit there, two versus one, and still be applying pressure to the enemy carry. So now they got a tri lane going bottom. Bushwhack, bam. Yeah, catch him up. Arzen, Frostbitten, and the tri lane paying off. Oh, really, really great stuff coming out of Unknown in this first five minutes. And you're right, not only is Sacred doing fine, he was pressuring and threatening kill on Sexy Yogi. He's gone two points in chain, and he, he just keeps doing this, running straight towards them. He's going to try and duke away from the cold feet, does so easily, and sticks inside the creep wave. Nothing's bothering Sacred right now. And this Phantom Sound Lancer, absolute up. free farm, especially with that hood. They actually can't really apply any pressure to him. Pamplona sees Wish. Mm, scurry. Little squirrel. <laughs> little eye shards there. Widge can scurry again. Bushwhack holds Pamplona in place, but PP's coming. So the snowball connects him. Allows PP to vortex him back. And now Storm Spirit. You've got to know that that hoodwink spotted your stacks. Do you think there's a way for Radiant to contest it? I, I guess not really. Yeah, not really. You're probably just gonna be okay giving that up and play towards top and middle. I mean, Ember's got level 2 Flame Guard. That's not enough. It's just unfortunate though that Wish actually went towards the mid area and gave Storm a kill. Because that's probably the one hero on the side of Infinity who needs some momentum. And give him a kill kind of helps him. Nice ball away by PP. Gets away from the bushwhack. Good attempt from Wish equally. And with that medallion, they could have maybe found the kill. And some pings coming out again from Pamplona, who is just sitting very defensively in this triangle, making sure that under his vision, Nobody comes to contest, but he doesn't catch the Observer Ward, which was placed a little earlier on by Widge. And Pakas yeah. right now, he's going to have Treads, Treads Hood by seven minutes. And he's forcing wow. Darkseer out of the lane. Like, this is a Darkseer who had to buy Bottle, Raindrop, Stick, all the sustain in the world, and is still struggling. That's scary. I mean, this Phantom Lancer, he's got three kills, and the rate that he's getting his items is as if he didn't even need to... Like, he, he the hood is not setting him back. And that's amazing, because normally when Phantom Lancers buy hood, all their item timings are slowed down significantly. But it does, it's not going to look that way for Angel this game. So it's like a free hood, basically. Yeah. And that's... Incredible. Oh, Crystal Man. Gets a D ward out and a good snowball away from the bushwhack. EP at about half mana and the sexy yogi rotating in. Grab the kills on both supports. But like we've seen previously on Unknown, they, they are more than happy just to give away support kills when all three of their cores on these lanes are farming away. Mm -hmm. But those kills are kind of bad because it was right next to the mid tower and he gave it to the storm too. The one who is looking to make some plays on the maps. Oh, Robo Z. PP has no mana. Yeah, it comes Hold forward. On. 
No chains here from Robo Z, but he's got remnants. Two of them, in fact, and a slider fist will finish him off. PP wow. cleared the majority of the stack, but a solo that kill ward. for the Ember puts him at level 8 now. And yeah, that ward, which they couldn't find earlier on, does get spotted now. But Sexy Yogi, Frostbit, and Bushwhacked can't kill the ward off. Oh, he'll get the last projectile out. But still, gonna lose his life in the trade off, and a double kill for Robo Z. That's. Infinity are gonna be really frustrated with that one. Storm dying. But is there anywhere that he can actually TP to and make a play here, Gary? The Timber, he's a little too tanky. He's full <laughs> HP, 1300 health. Angel, he's got a hood. He can just switch to power treads, have 1100 HP too. There's no moves for PP to make. No retaliation. Back and farm. And where, where does the TB go? E equally a story there for Burner Burner because he's, he's had to leave the top lane. He wants to go triangle to clear Ancients. I don't have Ice Blast. Too. Try to find Ooh, the TB, yeah. but they're gonna miss. But that's okay though. Do they have a word at least to be able to plant? No, they don't. So connect on that top lane with the timber saw. Orb of corrosion comes out for Robo Z, and he still has that haste rune to play around with. TP's also at the ready because Pakas, he's alone down here. And look at look at how quickly that is. Prada with Widge preemptively TP bot. They know the danger is coming. Back wall dropped on them, but. Pakaz just turns and kills Arzen. Now the chase is on towards Pamplona. Just the illusion Hasted set forward, Ember. and it's a remnant. Hey, yeah, Robo Z is in on top of him. Pamplona is going to try and hide himself away, but with no spells remaining, not even worth popping a fairy fire. A double for Pakaz, and that is now a 5 0 Phantom Lancer. 10 minutes in. Oh, they spot the stacks of Ancients too. They kicked the Terrorblade out. He just popped his Ooh. mana. Oh, that's, that hurts even more. Because now these Ancients are just going to sit there for like another minute and a half at least. Because Burna Burna, without its meta, he can't kill it. Yeah, might want to use that meta to try and defend tier 1 mid lane. Because after clearing out top lane, Sacred goes straight towards his next objective. Plants himself in mid. TB with the Tusk Snowball. Get on top of Sacred. He can Timber Chain out, oh, but he's shattering And that Bushwhack destroys the Storm. PP balled in, expecting his team to follow through, but it's a Timber Chain aggressive again from Sacred, moving on to Pamplona. Sexy Yogi on the run, Widge with another Bushwhack, he'll come in, catch out the Ancient Apparition, three kills in a row, and Unknown are running away with game two. <laughs> this is insane. Arzen 2, bottom lane, being chased down. He's got Surge in is one second, dead? but he might just be dead. Oh, so Ooh, close. Phantom Rush is coming! Packers yeah, wants it! Arzen's gonna give him another kill. And a 6 0 nil. Angel Phantom Lancer. PP moving forward, trying to catch the doppelganging angel, but they got the slight in the chains. PP Storm caught up with a frostbite. Ice Blast launched in. PP balls away. Barely escaped. He just Packers is nearly dead as well. The Phantom Lancer gonna survive though. He's got that hood. He survives with a hood. He can ferry fire in a second. PP. Another long ball, but PP doesn't go far enough. Robo Z getting caught out with a cold feet. Gonna get maneuvered away by that. Ember Spirit, and he's back on the storm. With the help of Sacred, they force PP away. Poor Pamplona. Oh my god, Sacred's gone in. He's wilding forward, and Robo Z gets the slight on him. Two man chain throughs. Pamplona and Arza together. They drop the wall onto the Ember Spirit, but Sacred is bullying them. A double for your Ember. Vax back, but he's got a fairy fire. Nice he survives. No way. They don't lose a single hero on Unknown. And that was a Storm Spirit who just revived. TP in there. Blew all his mana and died. He did not hit a single creep in the last two minutes of this game, Gary. And unknown. Now they want the ancients. They're gonna <laughs> drop the freezing field. Fair enough, Prada. Items dropping for your crystal maiden. Oh, bloody oh, hellfire. 14 to 3. Not only are unknown escaping by the skins of their teeth in these team fights, but they are completely shutting down this Terra Blades farm rate. PL, Ember, both farms. ahead of him. TB is equal to the Timber Saw right now. And a remnant towards the Ancient Apparition is going to find them another freebie. The Hoodwink Sharpshooter makes damn sure of it. That Sacred gets the kill and they Frostbite the Terror Blade. Oh, he's got no Sunder, does he? Burner, burner. He's nearly dead. Fairy Fire and run back through his own triangle. Robo Z with a slight of chains might be able to catch him here. He's getting close to it. Slight chains connect. Any more damage? It'll come through from Prada in a sec. There's the Frostbite. Ah, Crystal Nova, sorry. Taking that Terra Blade down for the first time this game, but that death matters so much.
That was a that's a crystal minute without boots, by the way. Just running around destroying people. She's 1 1 and 11. Just buying boots now, 13 minutes into the game. Prada just playing that sacrificial role, just making sure there's sentries all over the map and dewarding infinity, controlling this bottom area. So much space for Angel now too. He's got six kills and free farm on top of that. Three of the cores of unknown ahead of everybody on infinity. What's what, what, what's your response to this as Infinity? Like, do you do you feel like in 10, 15 minutes you're going to be able to gather no. up enough farm to day, to, to match day. this vacuum vacuum walls with a blink dagger? Like, you see, this is the problem, right? When your enemy team runs at your triangle like that, but you can't fight them and you entertain them the way you did, you have pretty much given away all your time where you could farm and make plays on the other side of the map. They need a top, they need a TV to push out top lane, and they need somebody else to push out mid lane. The entire time, unknown's running into you. They'll try they and find a kill though. They get the kill. DD on that storm spirit. Still going to work. And Burner Burner going Angels to get the meta out. But Pakka is joining in. He's got doppelganger. What? And chain! Holy, Holy shit. shit! Sacred! He slaughters them. The meat grinder comes. Infinity turned to sausage as unknown <laughs> just slice straight through them. Gary, I'll tell you right now. Like. This is the TI qualifiers, and you're about to be eliminated, but Infinity, in their minds, they just want to get the hell out of here. This is just looking absolutely impossible for them. They just want to fight their way back into this game, because they know if they farm, they're just going to keep getting picked off, but they can't even do that. Look at this chase. Look at this chase from Robo-Z. Oh, they give up on it. They see the yeah, triple they TPs from Infinity. Oh my god, the overreaction. They, they, Infinity just need to fight their way back. That's all they're thinking about right now. They have vision. They see it coming. They spot out Witch. PP's in. Ice Blast will fly over the top and they snowball there as well while Pamplona trying to connect on to uh, Sexy Yogi, but PP's dead. They're actually all just gone. They don't even kill the Crystal Maiden. They don't take down the Hoodwink. They lose four heroes for it. And I think you're right, Theban. It's 14 and a half minutes in, but it feels like the game is already over. Yeah, they're so demoralized on the side of Infinity. PP is like drawing the lines right now. Guys, just play on the side lanes. Push that stuff out. But you guys have made a little too many mistakes already to be able to come back from. That's what they should have been doing like eight, nine minutes into the game. The Phantom Lancer here was just a little too strong. You can't actually just run at him if Unknown are deciding to bring the Ember and the Timber to actually try to fight you back. This is the so frustrating, have, Gary, for the storm Infinity have orchid here. Yet. Storm, storm doesn't have Orchid yet. 300 gold away. It feels like the past five minutes he's been so close, rushing that item, but Pakaz and Robo-Z have found the Darks here. Beyond Godlike Phantom Lancer, snowballs there in towards which maybe a kill can be had, but no! The door is shut. Pakaz, 15 and a half minute, beyond Godlike, he's got 10k net worth 16 minutes in, hey? He's going to break some bloody records here. Telling you, unknown, they're feeling themselves, Gary. They are feeling themselves right now. And look at the CM already there, catching the Terror Blade, predicting where he's going next. Ember Spirit. They've got him. What can he do, even with the Thunder? He, he can't do anything. Thunder and Wand? Yeah, good luck, buddy. There's still a Frostbite. There's another Slight Chains ready now. And they'll connect it quite simply. Prada. Are they waiting? Are they baiting? Are they just toying with their food? Playing with Burner Burner and an unstoppable sacred picks him off in the last while Pamplona, well, he smoked out across the map, maybe looking for any stragglers. But this entire map belongs to Unknown. Angels farming Dire Triangle, top lanes controlled and pushed by Sacred's Timbersaw. The only place they can find is Infinity, pushing bottom lane with PP Storm. Pakas just killed, no, he killed him with illusions. The AA just dies to yep. illusions. I mean, Apparition, not a very good hero against illusion based dudes. And this Phantom Lancer just taking over the dire triangle area, taking all the farm away. This TB, as soon as he's alive, he's 0 3 and 0. He has nowhere to go to farm. Actually, has nowhere to go to farm. Because his bottom jungle side is empty. Yeah, time to sit in fountain, mate. Sound in Yasha TB. Does have the possessed mask, but a yeah, dire scan up on that high ground in their own jungle. Optimistic move, but they've got to try something. And giving it a shot there, Sacred Timbersaw takes about 80% of Pamplona's HP. The Hoodwink 
Sharpshooter tanked by the TB, and they are back onto Sunday. Sacred. Ah, oh, he's dead. Ember Spirit in yep. again. Dodge is caught out. GG is called. It is over. 17 minutes, 30 seconds. PP's the last casualty of war. And Infinity tap out. No chances. Oh, Unknown head to the grand final. What a game. It just felt like Infinity. They were still they still didn't recover from game.